You're watching News 12 The Bronx. Local news, local weather, local traffic, local matters. Well, May is National Foster Care Month, a time to shed light on the professionals who help children find permanent homes. And News 12's Josiah Darnell speaks with the members of the Rising Ground organization and how they're impacting the lives of youth in their areas and their parents. Rising Ground provides aid to over 25,000 children, adults, and families throughout New York City. Their foster care program is designed to create a positive relationship between parent and foster parent and to ultimately have the child return to their family. One foster parent says she wanted to give back by helping kids and joining the program was the best decision she's ever made. I'm really amazed by their values, how they're aligned with my values, but wanting to see families and children thrive. With all the resources and support that Rising Ground has given me, I can say that's the best decision I've made thus far. Alexandria joined Rising Ground at the age of just 21, and since then she's had over 13 different children in her care. She's a part of the co-parenting program there that was piloted by the organization two years ago. And once the pandemic hit, they were forced to find other effective ways to keep parents updated. We utilized FaceTime and uh, video chats and phone calls and all of these wonderful things to keep parents involved in the day-to-day -day operations of their child while they were residing outside of the home. Um, and it's really become something so special to us because nowhere else in the city is this really happening. And for anyone thinking about becoming foster care parents, Alexandria says to take the leap of faith. Do it. Become a foster parent. There's a great need for foster parents. These kids do need safe homes and loving um, people to be around them. And a child can never have too many people to love them. The co-parenting coordinator also says that it's amazing to see the relationships that are built between the parents and the foster parents and that the bonds last even after the child is no longer in foster care. The co-parenting coordinator at Rising Ground says that if anyone is looking to become a foster parent, they can do so by visiting their website. In East New York, Josiah Darnell, News 12.